Hello there, here, and today we're going to play another game developed by Arcade Kitten. Yay! Everyone, say get well soon to Arcade Kitten because recently she got sick and I hope she will be much better soon. Truly, from the bottom of my heart. I consider her a really nice person. Anyway, yes, this is Once Clover Died. This is a game talking about OCD. Which is interesting. Uh, yeah, I don't, sorry, I don't, I don't want to speak too much about it since I don't really know what OCD is all about. So yeah, all in all, that's all I can say. Let's see what the game is all about, shall we? Shall we? We shall. This game, yes, I was explaining that. This game is short work of an art created to help me cope with her sensory experience and ongoing mental health struggles. Rating are disabled due to the extra personal feelings attached to it. It's alright if you don't like it, but just know I made this to try to articulate and share my feelings with the world in a vulnerable manner. Thank you. Yeah. Do you want us to leave it to you? Who are we talking to? <laughs> yeah, this is an interesting choice. I want to say no. Not not because I want to explore stuff, but more so because the word carries a message to me in a way. I don't know. Different people have different sort of reaction to this kind of abstract message, and my reaction was just no. It's not your choice. Ah, yes. I see. We'll keep you safe. Day one. Well, that's interesting. Oh. <laughs> Hello, Clover. I don't know where game. And here I thought it was supposed to be my escape from it. I should speak to come here. Oh, Clover, because there's Clover on them, of it. I can see place to see it, but uh, you have difficulty finding a part in anything likely. Once Clover died. A pot of plant sits here. Sometimes you kiss the leaves, thinking the plant might appreciate the gesture. Shh. I was about to, <laughs> sorry, I was about to say shut up, but like, you know, shut up, because like, I talk, I do that sometimes. <laughs> And it's just like, give me a flashback to like, oh, oh, okay. It's good luck. Yeah, you know, greet, greet the plants, touch them, say hi to them. One, two, that's the hugs. Oh, I think you need here. You kneel before the bed and place your elbows on top of the matters. You clap your paw together in prayer. Dear Father God, good morning again. Please don't let anything bad happen to the house. Please let, don't let anything bad happen to obscene or come hurt. Please don't let anything bad happen to Valva. Please don't let anything bad happen to me if it's okay to escort her. It's okay. It's okay to escort her. Sorry to bother you and thank you very much for listening. Amen. Hmm? I think you need here. One, two hugs for you. Oh, You gotta hug her twice in the morning. A comfortable because you place to see but you had difficulty finding comfort in anything lately. Uh huh. You already prayed this morning. Okay, you can leave now. And then it can only prefer them on it. Who knows what could happen when the flame is on? Yeah. Because you place to see yes. The front door, you never leave the house until it's, until it's past 11 a.m. Oh. oh, hello there. You don't like looking at yourself in the mirror. Yeah. <laughs> Full of books, you read none of them. 
You know, I also don't like looking at myself in the mirror sometimes. The grandfather clock this time is a neutral number. That's good. Hello. I've seen it sweeping here, but you always start to come hard first thing in the morning. Come here. Ba -ba 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 -ba. This is our line. This is our line on the wall. You don't even think about touching them. Everything looks so, so symmetrical, huh? Oh, sorry. The ring on the table. You sit in the middle and I've seen him come hard sits and and he ends. It's not time to eat, so you can sit down. Okay. Hello, Upsin. Nothing you need here. You don't rush over. Last thing it needs is to touch a bad rock. Sweets are kept in this chest. You have to earn one if you want one. <laughs> okay. That's a is that a cake? That's a cake. That's a cake. Cake 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 cake. Ah, comfort. I love it. I love the design. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, good morning, Clover. Good morning, Comfort. Did you do your prayer today? Yes, I did. Did you hug your stuffed animal today? Yes, I did. Very good, very good. You're a good girl, Clover. What shall I do now? Go help Upsin with some chores. And tell her I love her. Okay, I'll do so. Oh, I just clicked something. I'm sorry. I just scared you. I'll see what can do so bad for you. I Oh, I had an armor game. What happened to the robber? We just don't know, unfortunately. Some may think that Upsin ate him and she's just not telling us. What makes you say that? It smells in her breath. Though more logically, she probably just got a bite of him before I know. I don't like the thing that he got away. I know. I don't want it to happen again. I know. That's why we were working to keep you safe. You trust us to keep you safe, don't you? I think so. You're a good car, Clover. We are here to help you. How did you meet Upsin? Didn't I tell you the story once before? It's very simple. She was hungry and liked to cook. I like to feed others. When I think about how hungry she was, it's almost a wonder she didn't eat me. Because you're a sheep? Because I am sheep. Mm -hmm. What is that on your back? Oh, your tail. Interesting. I'm scared. I'm scared in a, in a psychological way. Good morning, Clover dear. Good morning, Upsin. So much say that she'll help you with Charles Day. I know, sir, that he loves you. Haha, <laughs> oh, my sweet husband. Sweet indeed. Let's get started then. You can help by cleaning the mirror. Upsin, can I talk to you? Of course, my darling. What troubles you? I had a nightmare last night. Ah, say no more, I understand you. You do? Of course I do, I just know what you're thinking. What if it happens again? What if they come back? What if they're still in the house? How did you know? Because I think this thing is still darling. Every day, all the time. Yeah, me too. It's okay though, we have come hurt. He's going to keep us safe and stop something like that from happening again. How does he always know what to do? Between you and me, I think he's a psychic. He knows bad things are always looking around the corner. But he also knows how to prevent them. And I trust him wholly, he's made a vow to protect me as his wife. And me? Can you straight down the bookshelf just that? Some of the books are a bit crooked. Of course. Uh, what about the question? Then I went and helped of Sinwick cleaning up. That's also why I was a little too late to come out here. I can reach the higher books all by myself. Velvet. I'm sorry you're still having that nightmare. If you want, maybe you could stay over at my house one of these nights. Maybe sleeping somewhere and you could get, could help get your mind off of it for a bit. I don't know, I've had to ask Obscene and Comrade first. For reals? Why? Well, it's like, um, Ilan Lana, so I don't think they like you very much. Oh, what? What do they know? 
Whatever, I don't like them very much either. Hmm. Really? Why? I mean, what reason do I have to to like them? Seems to me all they do is boss you around and make you do silly things. They're not silly, they help me. Help you how? They keep me safe. Safe? How does hacking yourself toy a few times keep you safe? It makes me feel safe. I don't know how it works, but it does. Nothing bad has happened since I started doing that side works. Yeah. Do you really believe that though? Do you? I'm asking you back, Velvet. Do you really believe that you don't? Look, I don't want to stress you out over, uh, out over it or anything. I just worry about you. You're my friend, you know. And I just don't like seeing you all stress. I know. You're my friend too. But it's okay. We have an article now, it'll be fine from now on. Okay, if you say so. Day 2. That scares me. That scares me in a different way. Than horror. No fire two nights in a row? That's just nothing. I shall speak to come here. You can't leave yet, you have to do your morning cry to bed. You kneel before the bed and place your elbows on top of the mattress. You clap your paw together in prayer. Dear Father God, good morning, Yane. I've been having a lot of nightmares recently. It's a bit upsetting, you know. If I did something to serve it, and I'm saying sorry for it now. Get aside. Let's don't let anything but happen to the house. Please don't let anything but happen to Obscene or Comfort. Please don't let anything but happen to Velvet. Please don't let any anything but happen to me, please. Sorry to bother you and thank you very much for listening. Amen. Huh. Yeah, it is as I suspected. <laughs> huh. I don't know about you, but this game... This game unlocks a primordial feel in me. Part of... Something deep. A deep fear. So I've seen that something happened, but I... It triggers a fear of... I don't know. Something that I couldn't explain, but it's primordial. I just couldn't find the words for it. It's broken. It's broken. It's broken. I know, darling, I know. It's broken. It's broken. It's broken. The mirror. Come out. What happened? The mirror's broken. The mirror's broken. The mirror's broken. Lover, what did you do? Huh? Me? Me? The mirror's broken. The mirror's broken. The mirror's broken. Did you do your prayer this morning, Clover? Yes, I did. I do it every morning, I promise. Did you hug your toys? Yes, I did, I did, I did, I did. Did you knock on your bedroom door for leaving? Huh? What? Since when was that part of the routine? Oh, clever. Someone's in the... Someone's in the house. Someone's in the house, someone's in the house. Is that true? Is there someone in the house? Someone's in the house, someone's in the house, someone's in the house. It's okay, I'll take care of this. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'll, I'll do better, I will. Someone's in the house, someone is in the house, someone in the house. I'm sorry. Someone's in the house. Yeah, you know, yeah. I don't know about you, but I'm, I'm afraid. Not in the shivering way, like I said. That's not true. It's all my fault. That's not true either. Then why is the mirror broken? Sometimes things just break. I only have eight lives left. I don't want to be down to seven already. Clover, will you please listen to me? I know that break in was really traumatic for you. I'm sorry that it happened. Did that window broke yesterday? And did the light turn off yesterday? 
But I think that Kamara and Sensei says they're so... They're so dumb. Yeah? They don't make any sense. If that little routine you followed really worked, then why did the mirror break? I told you Kamara said need knock and I didn't do that. So? Hold knocking on her door stopped the mirror from breaking. How did stop someone from getting in the house? Clover. I care about you a lot. It hurts to see you like this. I really think it might benefit from spending a night in the house. It's a good way for me to hold you know. Maybe. That a girl. Not yet, though. I still want to ask ups and comfort first. I see. No, okay. I'll meet you here tomorrow and you can tell me what you decide then, okay? Love you, bunches. Thanks for understanding. I love you too. See you here sometime tomorrow. Day three. Not again. Can I just have one night of sleep? I shall speak to Kamahar. Yeah. Good morning, Yin. Haha. <laughs> if I didn't know any better, I'd almost say it's like you don't like me or something. <laughs> he had a feeling of being abandoned by God, you know. <laughs> um, so, please don't let anything bad happen to the house. Please don't let anything bad happen to Obscene or come hurt. Please don't let anything bad happen to Falvet. Please, um, don't let anything bad happen to me. Sorry about you and thank you very much for listening. Amen. You knock on the door before you leave. Okay, you can leave now. There's no one in the house. There's no one in the house. There's no one in the house. No, there must be. Someone's in the house, someone in the house, someone in the house. It scared her to death, it scared her to death, it scared her to death. She only has eight lives left, she only has eight left lives left, she only has eight lives left. Obstin is restless, everything phrased to herself and lastly. It's funny how much the voice in your head sounds like hers. Yeah, India. Mm-hmm. Ah, good morning, Clover. Good morning, Grammar. Did you do your prayer today? Yes, I did. Did you hug your stuff animals today? Yes, I did. Very good, very good. Did you knock on your door before leaving? I did. That's very good. You're a good girl, Clover. Um, I have a question I want to ask you. Yes, what is it, dear? Clover invited me to sleep over. Could I maybe sleep over then? Um, not recommended. Oh? I don't know about it, Clover. Who knows what could happen while you're gone? I know who will be here to follow your morning routine. I can only keep you so safe on my own. If my directions aren't followed, it could lead to danger. But... What? But what about when I follow the routine and something bad still happens? Then we add until it stops. Okay. Yeah. You follow directions, and it stops the bad from happening. You're a good girl, Clover. A very good girl. Stops the bad from happening, eh? Did she make your decision yet? Um, yeah, I think. I want, I want. I want to. I don't know. I feel like something bad will happen if I just go. 
I wanna sleep over. Hooray! I just, uh, can you promise me nothing bad will happen if I do? Well, I can guarantee. What do you mean? Something bad thing will still happen, it's just part of life. I was afraid you may somebody say something like that. But, if something bad does happen, I'll be here with you. Okay. Come on, let's go. Your house. Yeah? Ah, oh, very colorful. It's so nice in here. Thank you. Do you always keep the spare bit here or... Of course. You never know when you're gonna have an emergency homey sleepover. It'll get comfy. I'll go get you some more blankets and stuff. I'll help us sleep okay in your bed. Good night. Huh? Huh? How did I get back in here? I shall go and look for Velvet. Hey, at least you don't have your nightmare. Clover, there you are. I was wondering what happened to you. I got up this morning and you weren't there. I think maybe you're running in the middle of the night. I hope I didn't push you hard or anything. I don't know what happened. I just woke up here. I see. I'm sorry about that. I never tried to help. But you know something? What? I didn't have a nightmare at all last night. Think maybe you want to sleep over again tonight? Are you kidding? I'll go right now. Ha, ah, this settles it then. Let's go. Thank goodness. Oh my god. Thank goodness nothing bad happened. This game was carried by SF Arcade Gaming and seeing RPG Maker Envy. Plagues by Yen Pai, Golf, Arkea, Take Your Son. Special thank Cordo rejoins a true friend who will never let me fall through the cracks. Thank you for playing. Then what happens if we stay? Stay home? Really? Well, I don't want to force you. Yeah, th that choice makes me really afraid to go outside. Thanks, I'm sorry. I already appreciate you so far, Jess. How did you return back to your home? I just don't think I can right now. I understand, it's okay. I'll still come to see you here again tomorrow, okay? Okay. Clover, it's time for bed. Already? I took the liberty of tidying up your room a little bit beforehand. Do you need to be tucked in? That's a uh, coughing. No, she'll be, um. Actually, I called you. I feel a lot better when you sat. Uh... Of course, Clover. Working for you is what I do. Uh, yeah, okay, let's talk about it. It's a short game and event, event art game, most, mostly, which is <laughs> not mostly, like, it, it's a fan art game, short fan art game, and I must say it did a really good job at its purpose, so, a way of venting. I, I did a, a way of illustrating an OCD. I, 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 I'm still really not sure what, what an OCD is, but I, I understand the feeling that this game tries to show to me, which I do experience sometimes as well. The feeling of fear, the feeling of the feeling of fear going outside, of interacting with others, like what will happen, what would you do if I change your routine. That's a primordial fear that understandable. The yeah. It it successfully makes me afraid of every steps that we're going to go through, because something bad will happen if we go out of our bounds of our steps. I I do experience this kind of stuff, especially especially for me myself. I I try to step out of my boundary once and it went well, and then it didn't, and then I become afraid again. Little stuff. I, I'm I'm slowly recovering as well, but. We, it's out. Other way out. Not much to say, but it's a powerful game. It's an interesting, strong game. See you all later then, in my next video, and bless, quick recovery, friend, bye bye.